Russia should get biblical with its response to Western sanctions by turning life in the West into a permanent nightmare and inflicting maximum damage on unfriendly countries, Russian Security Council Deputy Chairman Dmitry Medvedev said. We should try every day to do as much damage as possible to those countries that have imposed these restrictions on our country and all our citizens. Hit them where it hurts, the official wrote on his Telegram channel. Do damage everywhere, paralyze the operation of their companies and government agencies. Find vulnerabilities in their critical technologies and attack them mercilessly. Literally destroy their energy, industry, transportation, banking and social services, he said. Let's turn their lives into an ongoing permanent nightmare. Medvedev concluded, referencing the Old Testament principle of an eye for an eye. He stated that the United States and its allies have declared an all-out war against Russia. Here are the new sanctions from the USA. Soon there will be new European ones. Should we respond? It seems that we won't do it. After all, their number is already tens of thousands. We have learned to live and develop with them, the official noted. On the other hand, continued Medvedev, a response would be necessary not only from the authorities and the state, but from all our people in general, from all those who love our homeland. After all, the United States and its allies have declared war on us without rules reads the message. Furthermore, Medvedev argued that it is necessary to transfer to the enemies of the Western world all possible types of weapons except nuclear for now. A former Russian president warned that Moscow is now bluffing about its willingness to use tactical nuclear weapons in Ukraine and said Kyiv's international backers are making a fatal mistake if they think otherwise. The current military conflict with the West is developing according to the worst possible scenario, Medvedev wrote on Telegram. An Israeli strike on the village of Juya in southern Lebanon late Tuesday killed a senior field commander of Hezbollah and three fighters for the Lebanese armed group, three security sources said. There was no immediate comment from the Israel Defense Forces on strike, which came amid a series of rocket barrages fired from Lebanon at northern communities throughout the day. There were no injuries reported in the rocket attacks, with air defenses intercepting some projectiles while others struck open areas. Hezbollah confirmed the death of the commander and said in a statement that he was Taleb Abdullah, also known as Abu Taleb. Abu Taleb was the most senior member of the group killed in eight months of fire between Israel and Hezbollah, a security source told Reuters. He was identified by the sources as the group's commander for the central region of the southern border strip. After this, Sources with Hezbollah said the Lebanese militants had initiated the largest attack on northern Israel since the war's onset, Israeli newspaper Haaretz reported. Lebanon's Hezbollah said on Wednesday it had fired dozens of rockets at Israeli military posts and a military factory in northern Israel in retaliation for the killing of a senior commander. The Israeli military said about 160 rockets were launched from Lebanon into northern Israel after an Israeli strike killed a senior Hezbollah commander in South Lebanon. Separately, Israel said it carried out a strike on a building used by Hezbollah, a rocket launching site, and other infrastructure in southern Lebanon's Adaran. A Hezbollah rocket launching cell was also targeted in a drone strike in Deir Oms, the military added. <laughs> 